good evening, everyone. So, Banakam and Ayubovan. So, here we are at an introduction session. This is the International Project for Capacity uh, Development of ECCD Teachers in South Asian Countries. Actually, it is with the guidance of guidance and consultation of Honorable Gita Samanmali Kumarasimu, the State Minister of the Ministry of Women, Child Affairs and Social Empowerment in Sri Lanka. The International Association for Quality Education has implemented the International Project for Capacity Development of ECCD teachers in South Asian countries, parallel to the international conference to be held in New Delhi, in May 2024. So I warmly welcome you all for this introduction session. Before I uh, start on my uh, introductory, I would like to invite our president of the International Association for Quality Education and South Asian International Association, Mr. Janaka Kamal Goda, to address the session. Good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, Sugandhi. Thank you very much. Uh, it is very pleasure to speak few words in this uh, memorable occasion. I think uh, not only the Sri Lankan educators, not only the Sri Lankan teachers, uh, many educators from Nepal, Bhutan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and even from the other countries will participate for uh, this uh, lecture series and this, uh, for this uh, capacity development program. As a president of the South Asia International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development, our aim is uh, to share best practices among the region, among the educators in the South Asian region. And uh, we, we invite educators, expert uh, teachers, uh, principals, educators to uh, come to this platform and share the, uh, your best practices. And uh, the teachers and the young uh, educators, they can uh, learn, they can get a lot of experience from the expert educators. And uh, from today, uh, with the Venture Imams leadership, uh, we conduct a lecture series about the STEAM education. And in addition to that, with our host and partner of the conference, uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam uh, Foundation, they will uh, share a lot of experience, uh, their best practices with uh, educators in our South Asian region. And I wish all the best uh, for our uh, organization team, our host, and uh, for our uh, entire team. Thank you very much, Sugandhi. I wish uh, today program will be more successful for all the educators in the South Asian region. Mr. Hope to have the same. Uh, so actually, uh, next, uh, let me introduce our operational leader, Mr. J Vishan De Jagannath, to speak a few words on, for this session. Thank you, Ms. Suganvi. I warmly welcome all of you on behalf of International Association for Quality Education and South Asian International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development. This is a project that has been implemented for the capacity development of ECCD teachers in South Asian countries. A pilot project was carried out last year in the Western province. And looking at the response, we are planning to introduce it island-wide. Through this, we plan to learn the best and modern practices from other countries and exchange our ideas and views with others. I'm sure that this project will benefit all the teachers, head teachers, and educators. As a part of the project, we have designed a lecture series in STEAM education comprising of 20 videos. The areas to be covered has been carefully selected by a group of well-experienced teachers under the guidance of our association president, Mr. Janaka Kamal Goda. There are three lecturers 
who will be taking us through this whole lecture series. Ms. Ventura, Ms. Usha, and Ms. Sia, who have a sound knowledge in STEAM education. So let's just go through the slides. So as I told you all earlier, this is a project, international project for capacity development of ECCD teachers in South Asian countries. The whole lecture series will be conducted by three lecturers who have been in this field for a very, very long time. So the whole team, the one of them is Miss Ventura. She will be the, I'm sorry, oh yeah. She will be the academic leader as well as the facilitator. And along with her, we have another two lecturers, Miss Usha Hariharan and Miss Sia. So you can get to know about them when during the lectures. So the first lecture has been uh, done by Miss Ventura. So the first module, module one, lecture one is on overview of STEAM education in ECE. So it explains how the whole uh, 20 videos will be done. Next slide, please. So, as discussed, the 20 lecture series has been divided into five modules. So, each module comprises of number of lectures which has been given. So, the first module will be Introduction to STEAM Education, where you have three lectures. Similarly, module two will be STEM Foundations in ECE. Module three, Integrating Arts in STEAM. Module four, culturally responsive STEAM teaching. And the last module will be assessment and reflection in STEAM. Next slide, sir. So module one, as we saw earlier, it has three lectures. So lecture one is going to be on overview of STEAM in EC, which is this lecture, I mean, uh, the current lecture. And lecture two will be integrating arts into STEM. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and maths. Arts was introduced later. So that will be learning in detail in lecture two. Lecture three is on inquiry-based learning in ECE. After these three lectures, we'll have a live lecture with any one of the lecturers. So you could uh, maybe clear your doubts or anything that you want to clarify, any uh, thing that you have come across could be discussed in this. So the, we're now moving on to module two. Module two has four lectures. Lecture four is going to be on science exploration in ECE. And lecture five will be on mathematical thinking in play. And lecture six is on technology tools for ECE. And lecture seven will be on engineering concepts in ECE. And likewise, similar to module one, we'll be having a live lecture after lecture seven. And there would also be an assessment to assess the participants how far they've understood and how they perform. And so that we also know that you all have not missed any of the lectures. So moving on to module three, this comprises of five lectures. Lecture eight is going to be on the role of arts in STEM Lecture 9, Music and Mathematics Connections, how they are interconnected. And Lecture 10 is on Visual Arts in Science. Lecture 11 is on Drama and Engineering. And the last one will be on Dance and Technology. And like the previous modules, we'll be going through a live series, live lecture after Lecture 12. Module 4.
Next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Module four comprises of four lectures. Lecture 13 is going to be on diversity in STEAM education. Lecture 14 is going to be on adapting STEAM for different learning styles. Next one would be community engagement in STEAM. And the last lecture for module four will be on ethical considerations in STEAM. And the last one is going to be module five. Next slide, please. Yes, module five comprises of four le lectures and this is going to be the last module. Lecture 17, there will be an assessment, uh, this which uh, briefs us on assessments done in STEAM and 18 will be on reflection on STEAM teaching practices. The 19th lecture will be professional development in STEAM. How could we develop ourselves after the whole learning process. And the last one of this series is going to be future trends in STEAM education. And this would be the last lecture for the whole of the series. And after this, we'll be having a reflection and assessment during the live lecture. Yes. Next, we'll go through the summary. I'm sorry, the importance of early years in STEAM education. So as we all know, why are we focusing uh, STEAM education in early years? Because STEAM can also be used in all areas of education, but we mainly focus it on STEAM early childhood because those are the uh, fundamental years of the growth which happens, the significant growth could be seen in a child. So this is the period where cognitive, social and emotional growth is seen. And most part of the brain development falls within this particular period, that is the early childhood years. And formation of essential skills. Through these skills, the children could develop their abilities and talents and they, they could be ready to face the uh, world. Yeah. And next, we'll be looking at the summary of this whole lecture series. So we are going to have 20 lectures, and these 20 lectures have been divided into five modules. And in each module, end of each mo module, we'll have a live lecture. So which means five modules at end of each module will have a live lecture which has five live lectures also. Altogether we have 20 lectures and each module will have an assessment also so that we know that how far we've learned and the areas to be developed. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Dishan. So let's continue with the next part. So actually now you all will be, as I gave you the introduction, you all will be wondering how this program will be held, what it is and how, uh, how are we gonna go on? So let me introduce you the website first. Our website is www.iafqe.org. Okay, so this is our website. So actually, when you browse into this website, you could see the uh, re regarding the international conference. So actually, let me uh, make it very clear to you, the project which is going on with this ECCD teachers is nothing to do with the conference. So this project is totally free of charge. So let me tell that very clearly to you. And it is nothing to do with the international conference, right? So this is actually, these lecture series are done parallel to the conference and you don't have to do any payments for this ECCD project when you are registered under this project. But when it comes to the conference, we, we are planning for the conference in May 2024 in New Delhi. So that is to happen uh, uh, actually, it will. It is also going on, 
So if you are really interested, you can uh, contact us so that we can give you more information. So parallel to the conference, we are having this project. So let me introduce, this is to introduce the ECCD project. So let me talk about that first, right? So when you browse into the uh, website, you could see academics here. So there you get an icon, International Project for Capacity Development of ECCD Teachers in South Asian Countries. So when you get into that, you could see with the guidance and consultation of Honorable Geeta Saman Malik Kumara Singha, the State Minister of uh, the Ministry of Women, Child Affairs and Social Empowerment in Sri Lanka has uh, actually, she was interested in this project as she uh, participated in the last conference in Mumbai with us. So she was interested to implement and she wanted to give it free of charge to the teachers in Sri Lanka, especially the preschool teachers in Sri Lanka. So uh, she, uh, she wanted that to happen through the International Association for Quality Education and South Asian International Association. So that is how this project is designed. So as we, as, as I uh, made, made it sure, this project is fully free of charge, right? So if you really want to know about the project, you can browse into this so that you can read all the information about our project. So what are we going to do here? So let's see. ECCD teachers can participate in the lecture series on STEAM education for early childhood care and development. This is our uh, first uh, target. And then lecture series on ECCD education in South Asian countries. It is not only about STEAM education. You are going to experience how this is happening in South Asian countries, right? So the lecturers from other countries also will be joining uh, uh, through YouTube to give you uh, lectures about implementation in uh, STEAM in their countries. Uh, not only STEAM, it is about their preschool education in their country, right? And then uh, apart from that, apart from STEAM, apart from this preschool uh, syllabus, we have designed an additional uh, program, which is communication skill development in English language. Actually, uh, this is designed uh, for Singhala and Tamil teachers who has a barrier to perform in international platforms due to language. So actually this is to enhance their uh, English language to support them to go forward. Right. So if you are also interested, you all also can join in that so that you will be obtaining a separate certificate for that. Let me talk about it later. And then lecture series for professional development. So you will be getting uh, up, you will be getting some upgradings on your professional developments to in, uh, empower you as a preschool teacher. And the speciality of this lecture series is this will be held in. English medium, single medium, and Tamil medium. So since we found that doing it in only uh, English, me English medium will not help the Sri Lankan teachers, uh, the uh, actually our president has decided to do it in single and Tamil medium too. Whereas when, once the lecture series are done by the Indian lecturers, we will be translating it to Singhala and Tamil for all the teachers to watch in YouTube. And then, so this is how, this is what the, uh, this is how the project is designed. So apart from this, let me talk about what else we have in this website. So you could see, click here for online registration. So you all were asked to register yourself as we need to have a, count and detail of the participants on the uh, project. So you will have to click here to register online. So once you click, you get the get an application form here. So you can go through this, fill it up accordingly and submit the form so that we get an update on that, right? So our next, uh, you have, if you need to watch 
the lecture series and the lecture timetables. You just click on this so that you can see the lecture. What we are doing right at the moment also is here. You could watch that or if you really want to watch any videos which were played last two days, that also can be uh, watch. You can watch it here. Okay. And then here you could see the timetable, right? Click here to watch the timetable. So let, let's look at the timetable. So this is the timetable which is going to be followed. Okay, so let's, I'll talk about it uh, after explaining the website and then uh, click here to check your name in the registered participant list. Now, actually now teachers have a problem that uh, whether you're, you, you have a doubt whether you have registered correctly, whether it is your name is in our list, all these uh, questions can be clarified through this. So that when you click on this, you could see there is a name list till 18th. We have updated this list, whereas you can see your identity number and then your medium with your names and your province also here. So you, in this, if your name is not there means, uh, you should understand that your registration has not reached us so that you will have to definitely go for a new registration. So make sure that you do it as soon as possible as we will be deciding on a closing date so that you can see now up to now up to yesterday uh, sorry up to monday we have got uh, 1002 registrations so hope all these teachers are with us right at the moment watching our video right so and then if you have not registered you don't have to worry you have to click on this so that you can get the application to fill to be filled right so not only that it is important that you join the whatsapp community because if you don't join this whatsapp community we have no way to contact you personally so keep that in mind so that it is necessary you make yourself join uh, make sure that you get into this whatsapp community so that you get all the updates through this community right so if you have any issues to browse on the uh, web, uh what do you say browse on this link or what do you say the address or anything usually you get uh, an update right usually every day you get an update like this whereas we always show you give you uh, links so that you could watch now see www.saia for ecd or live if you click on that also you could watch our videos it will direct you to the same place where i was explaining right so hope it's clear for the moment right so before i talk about the timetables and other things Let me invite uh, Mr. Bishan, the operational leader, to speak about the Speak in English uh, series. Thank you, Ms. Sugandhi. Yeah. So uh, this was the website that Ms. Uh, Sugandhi was referring to. So it's saifo.ecd.org. So when you go into that website, you'll have to go to academics and then click speak in English. So when you go to that page, you have the message from the project leader actually you could actually uh, just go through it the points have been given here the way the lecture series will be done i'm referring to speak in english lecture series how it's going to be carried out has been mentioned here so in total if you browse further down i hope you all could see this you could see my screen uh, we have really, we have planned of having 30 lessons under the Speaking English lecture series. 
And this has been divided into two parts, part one, part two, each part consisting of 15, 15 videos. So altogether, 30. So for now, we have released lesson one, two, and three. So let's just go through lesson one. So uh, the lessons will be here and you could click on the particular lesson that you wish to go through. So for now, we'll just go through lesson one and see how we'll be doing it. When you click the specific lesson, it takes you to a page, something similar to this. Now here you have the teacher's showcase, which consists of the speaking English uh, lessons, each lesson which is done in English, and it is translated both in Sinhala and Tamil. So anyone who wants to learn or who wants to uh, maybe upgrade yourself could go through this. So first you could watch it in your mother tongue and for further clarification or further information you could watch the same lecture series in English. So the lecture series are here in all the three languages. So once you've gone through this lecture series a couple of times then by the side of this you could see the assessments and evaluations. So this, we are going to have a self-assessment form. So let me take you through that. Each lesson will have a self-assessment form. So when you select the self-assessment form, you'll have to key in your email ID so that uh, we could record it, record your attendance and for other stuff. So when you go down, when you browse down further, there are a couple of questions that have been given in each lesson. So these questions will be related to the particular lesson. So these uh, questions are related with lesson one. And all these questions are multiple choice questions. So you'll have to read the question and select any one of the answer. So let me just uh, do it. Why don't you learn a new language? So the answer is going to be, I don't like it because it's very hard. And similarly, you could go through the other questions. So just for now, I'll be selecting random answers and uh, And we'll see how to generate the score. So actually, I'm not reading the questions at the moment. Uh, to save time. So I'm just randomly clicking up answers. So once we are done, you will have to submit this Google question. So there are a couple of questions, so you can take your own time to answer, but make sure you answer all the questions. And once, I think we are almost done. Yeah. 
Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Once we are done with this, we'll submit. And uh, you have an option where in case you, the score is generated and if you feel that you're not satisfied with the score, you can redo it any number of time. And you're not going to have the same set of questions. So uh, there'll be uh, different questions. So it'll be a best way to practice what you've learned in the lesson two. Sorry. Yes. So once I think we are almost done. Yeah. It's taking some time. So please bear with me. So now we've reached the end of the form and then you have the option. So once you submit it, okay. So it will lead you to a page where it generates the score. And there are some questions to be answered, like which age group you fit into and things like that. So based on my random um, thing, yeah, I've got my score, which is 19 out of 50. And you could also check the answers. The right answers also have been here. So in case if you're not satisfied, then maybe you could again redo the questionnaire once more and after that there is a section called i'm sorry the questionnaire when you go to this section you could see there are a couple of questions there will be 50 questions so this is how you're going to practice what we've learned so you'll have to ask this question to a partner and get their answer or similarly, you can make someone else ask these questions to you and you could reply these questions. By doing so, you get familiarized with the particular uh, lesson that you've learned. And after this, there is a continuous assessment form. In this section, you will have to come up with questions you are going to frame now in the previous section under the question and the questioner the questions were already provided and you were just practicing the questions and in this section the continuous assessment you will be framing your own set of questions so here you'll have to fill this your email has to be given your name whatsapp number and after these particulars you could come to this section which says write down at least 25 positive questions and second one, write down at least 25 negative questions. So while you do this, you get more familiarized with the whole thing. And after that, you could also record the lesson. Now here I'll be taking you to that section now. Under the teacher's uh, showcase, we have something called as the student's showcase so the video on this side students showcase lesson one this is one of our teachers who has done a demo to show you all how it has to be done so after you listen to the lecture according to your understanding we would like you all to record you teaching someone or maybe just get a video of yourself teaching someone and once that is done we have a practical session for lesson one this is where you ask questions to a partner and it's vice versa the 
the partner asks questions to you and you reply, you can get a video of it and you can upload it in this section. So these are the things which is expected to be done in this speaking English lecture series. So I'll summarize it. First of all, you'll have to look at the lecture in your preferred language. And then after you go through it, it's advisable for you to go through the same lecture in English for further understanding. Then you go into the self-assessment form here, which comprises of a couple of questions, a Google form, where you will have to select the right uh, MCQ questions. And then it generates, I'm sorry, it generates a score. And while it generates a score, you could also check the answers, the right ones and the wrong ones. And if you're not satisfied, you could again redo the questionnaire again. Once it is completed, move on to the next one, which is the questionnaire section. In this section, there are a couple of questions which have been given. Uh, roughly, I guess that there should be 50 questions in each lesson. So where you get a chance of practicing these questions, you ask the question and get a person to answer. Likewise, you are, get a person to ask the question and you answer. And moving on to the continuous assessment, this will help you and also to know how far you have understood the whole lesson. Because in this section, you're going to frame your own set of questions. And once you are done with it, we would like you all to record one thing, the lesson that you have understood has to be uh, explained by you. And the second one, the questionnaire has to be done the videos have to be uploaded so that is what we've been uh what we are planning to do in this uh speaking english lecture series and at the end of the lecture series based on how you have performed we'll be awarding you certificates so the certificates will be awarded according to the standard and the criteria will be discussed uh, later so uh, thank you, Ms. Sugandhi. And uh, I think I have explained. And in case if I have missed anything out, Ms. Sugandhi will uh, brief you. Thank you, Mr. Bishan. So actually, you did it perfectly. So I have few more things to be in informed to explain them. Before that, uh, I just wanted to in uh, tell you if you are watching uh, in YouTube, please comment your name so that we know how many of you all are watching. And also, if you all have any queries, also you can type there so that we could answer before we end up. If there is any question, we could answer before we end up, right? So that also can be done. So we would like to uh, see uh, your names in the comment section. Okay, so let me proceed with my next step. So once again, I'm going into the website. So right, now here, I would like to introduce one more thing to you all, whereas this is the forum icon where you get in www.iafqe.org. So go to the forum, you could see talk show host, Miss. Shevar Suheb. So this is actually uh, done. Uh, she's the leader of this talk show. So she will be guiding the teachers how to do it. So actually we uh, select teachers to do interviews with the educators in different from different countries. So this was done actually for January conference. So any teachers who are interested, please let us know. Right, so there is an application form. So we will uh, display that in this uh, website right at the moment, it's not here. So if you are interested to become a talk show host, let me play one video and show you so how it happens. So the most awaited time has come and I would like to take pleasure and deep honor to welcome and eminent personality on board to join with us on this live interview series. 
She is Madam Mikhaila Vanshura, the head of primary at the DSP International School, who is an experienced educator with more than 13 years of expertise in the field of education. So she is Miss Sheva Zuhair, who will be guiding you on this talk show host part, right? So uh, she was awarded as the talk show host at last conference. So the, those are her photos and the interviews what she uh, held, which had last time is displayed here. So you can watch it. Also, we have one more option for you all. Now, actually, teachers really want to perform. Teachers like to perform on, on uh, international platforms. So here you get the next one, which is World Teachers Parliament. So when you go to this uh, part, you could see the videos and introduction on this. Also, Ms. Suhar will be coordinating on this. So here you get the registration guidance. So in this, of course, here we have. So if you are really interested, you could register yourself for this so that we could guide you accordingly. So this is also in the www.iafqe.org website under the forum. Okay, under that icon, you could see these two, talk show host and the world teachers parliament. Okay, so that is about uh, some additional uh, platform for the teachers. So if you really want to become a speaker, you could try these. Right. These are not compulsory to tell you the truth. These are just a part of the conference which is held parallelly. If you are interested, you could participate. There is not, it is not compulsory. So now let me get into the um, the project. Once again, the International Project for Capacity of ECCD teachers in South Asian countries. We are into that. So that let me explain you on the timetable now. Right. Okay, so this is our timetable for the moment. So you could see we have given you the dates and the time. Actually, we had a uh, the introduction in single on Monday, yesterday we had Tamil and today we are having English. So once all these are done from this Thursday, now Monday we released the speak in English lesson, one, two, three, three lessons were released in all three mediums. And then on Thursday, once again, we'll be releasing another three lessons in speak in English. So the speak in English lessons will be released twice a week which with six videos all together so you will be given a target on this also right so actually you have to so as uh, Mr. Dishan said to become eligible for a certificate you will have to meet certain uh, targets right so you will be given certain targets to achieve so that should be done so what it is about so speak in English once you watch the videos for uh, First, second, and third, you will have to fill up the self-assessment. It is compulsory. Make sure that you do it as now. Now, because these uh, lessons are taught in YouTube, we have no way that to see, uh, find out whether you have gone through the lesson or whether you have watched it or whether you have, we have no uh, update at all. So, so to monitor on that, uh, we have published a self-assessment sheet, which Mr. Dishan explained you. Let me show that once again. So it's about speaking English. You get for lesson one, you get the self-assessment sheet once after you watch the video. So in this self-assessment sheet, when you fill it up, we know that you have watched the video and you have answered. So which will give you give an update on your attendance. So actually, you it gives us an uh, update of your attendance that you have attended on that lesson. So we will be checking on your attendance 90%. So for you to be eligible for a certificate, 
you will have to fill up 90% of the self-assessment sheets. So make sure that it is, it is done. So if without you completing 90% of the uh, self-assessment sheets, this, you will not be eligible for a certificate. So after that, like when you are not meeting the eligibility, definitely we cannot help on that, right? So I'll, I'll, I'm repeating again and again to make sure that you do it perfectly. And next, let me explain about the STEAM lessons. So today we have given you the introduction on STEAM uh, lesson. So the next uh, lecture will be released on Friday. That is lecture two. So whereas we have a way of releasing it, 6.30 you will be released with single and Tamil medium of lecture two. And then 7.30 it will be the English medium lecture. So once you watch in your mother tongue, you could go to English medium too, so that you can enhance your knowledge. Listening to English is also good. So not only in single or Tamil, just go for English also so that you can upgrade your knowledge and also you learn new words, right? So even for this, we have, uh, yes, we you will have to do a self-assessment uh, sheet. So that also should be done. So make sure once after you finish watching the video, you finish up the self-assessment sheet, right? So speak in English will be given a target of three days after the release of video. Whereas if we are releasing a video on Monday, you will have to complete your assessment sheet by Wednesday. So that Thursday, again, we'll be releasing next two lectures, next three lectures. So that should be completed by Sunday. And then again, the next Monday, you will be getting next three lectures. So th that is how it goes on, right? Team will be released twice a week, which means Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you'll be getting the videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, you make sure that you finish up within a day for us to reach at least within the week we need all three assessment sheets to reach us to get the eligibility for the certificate even for team you will be getting a certificate uh, so that to meet the eligibility you have to submit 90 percent of the self-assessment sheets so you could see now here there are 20 lectures of um, uh, steam and 30 lectures of uh, speak in English. So everything is uh, scheduled. So you could go through only during uh, New Year week, we'll be having a break as everybody will be busy. Uh, after that, we'll be continuing. So we go till May 13th, 2024, okay? So also we have planned to have a uh, assessment and live discussion on lecture two. Now, say now, if, if after every uh, lesson, after like release of every lecture, you might have doubts. So you we we should give you an opportunity to speak about it, so that we will be available on YouTube for the ne next immediate release day. Which means now, suppose if we are releasing on Friday. The next release date will be on Monday. So that lecture two assessment and live discussion will happen on Monday, 8.30 p.m., right? And lecture three assessment and live discussion will be held on uh, Wednesday. So that is how it goes. If you go through this timetable, you will understand how we have planned it, right? So it is not only doing a... Uh, doing, uh, course actually or upgrading yourself it is important that you have a proof so you cannot when you face an interview or when you uh, go to certain places you cannot just verbally say i have done steam i have done an english course it's not like that you should have evidence so that also will be done by us so I'll make it clear, you don't have to come to India to get the certificate. It's nothing like that. 
this project is free of charge and the price giving of this project will be done in Sri Lanka. It's not to be the, do anything with conference. Let me make it very, very clear to you. So it is fully free of charge. All your certificates, everything will be done through the ministry and the association with the signatures of the minister and the uh, president of uh, association. You all don't have to worry at all about money on this project. So only for the conference, we have certain separate procedures. So that will be updated later in a different uh, session. So this is to upgrade you, update you on ECCD project. So may I, I'm sure that I have explained you overall about everything. Uh, so Mr. Dishan, do we have anything more to be uh, informed then? Uh, yes, Ms. Sugandhi. Uh, actually, uh, the president of... Uh... Uh, association, uh, in International Association for Quality Education, Mr. Janaka, wants to speak a few words. He wants to mention a few things. So now he'll be uh, briefing you on certain things that which we have not covered. Yeah, uh, thank you, Sugandhi. Uh, I think uh, both of you did uh, very nicely uh, today program. And uh, we have to work with the technology. In the beginning, we had to face some sort of uh, issues, uh, but uh, we had the idea to play uh, Venture Ma'am's uh, first lesson, uh, but we couldn't play it in this moment in the uh, live session. But uh, end of the session, we will share that, uh, we will upload it to the YouTube, then you can see, the, you can see it later. Yeah, that's the first thing I want to tell. And as Sugandhi mentioned, this is a totally free uh, project uh, to enhance the capacity of the teachers in Sri Lanka and even in the other countries. Because we uh, we know that a lot of Maldivian teachers, they like to share their best practices and also they like to get some knowledge from uh, other educators from other countries. Even we have a lot of contacts with uh, Nepal, Bhutan and uh, Pakistan and other countries also. And uh, I think uh, all of us uh, can uh, get some knowledge. Uh, we can share our best practices. And uh, I think many Sri Lankan teachers will join this program and they also uh, can share their best practices in, as uh, Sugandhi explained, in our World Teacher Parliament to, uh, talk show host. The, all the things are free of charge for you. As an association, we do a lot of works. As an association, we do a lot of works. The, uh, we do a conference series uh, to enhance the quality of the education uh, with the educators in the other countries. In Mumbai, we did a uh, conference in January, uh, uh, January in this year. And for many educators participated even from the South Africa. And three ministers participated as a chief guest and guest of honors. And that is a separate one. If someone like to uh, join with the conference and to get the some awards, they can uh, join with the conference. But we don't uh, like to invite. That means we don't want to. Uh, we will not explain like, uh, things about the conference in this platform after we start the lecture series because some think that uh, they have to pay uh, for this uh, program or some uh, sort of ideas they may have. That's why we want to explain clearly, this is a separate project to enhance the quality of the teachers. Therefore, this is a total free. Then you don't want to spend any uh, sense, then you can get uh, knowledge, you can get uh, some kind of uh, best practices from the other uh, educators from the other countries. And uh, I think it may be a good opportunity to uh, you. And in addition to that, I want to explain, some teachers can't understand properly uh, when we do all the things in English. That's why we uh, thought to do uh, separate uh, uh, lecture series, the same lecture series uh, to explain separately in Sinhala and in Tamil. But Ms. Sugandhi and Mr. Dishan explain all the things very clearly in the very... Uh, it is easy to understand uh, everyone. Therefore, I like to invite the teachers who can't properly understand in English, but 
Firstly, they watched the uh, lecture series and everything in uh, single and Tamil. Thereafter, uh, you try to watch uh, the same lesson and same program in even in the English version. That is a good opportunity to you to brush up your English knowledge also. And I want to explain same thing even in the Sinhala. I'll take a few minutes to explain the things in Sinhala because we want to uh, explain clearly what we do. Mama Vashan Kipa Sinhala Nut Kata Karanna Api Me Vedasatahana Sinhala Maadhin, Demala Maadhin Sa Inghisa Maadhin Tunimma Gheera Vaan. Itta Kota Me Inghisa Maadhin Karanna Deesana Theerong Karanna Berikane Kki Inna Vaan Ea Single mad the hotel mad the Nigana, possibly Mapi Hadala the Iron. A come a day, Sene, a single mad the not Padricano, the Malamad the not Padricano, it passes but a poluang. Aka original version, Neka Yadala lecture again in this video to Mabalan. It was a online platform over some bundle of a Kamati mad the king, but I see with the Prashna Hana Puluang. In a Palini carne day. Mugoda butter made the Dishan in this is Uganda in this in a thing, Shisham Dishan in Dishan. Pahadrikana Harima clear, Manatram Saturinum, the Yaitam Pahadrikan Vachan Ucharne, Hamakanukotam, Itam Hundin Brahane Karagana Pulo, Yavastava Nathagan, Pakinaga, but a Selamakiano. Devinikatama, Mama Isela Tadrikaragi, a peer association Nakidita, we do the Saran Karano. It rapi, a Jati and the Teka, some Matran Malava Karano. It rates some Matran Malava, a peer, a peer, Matru Bumita, the Waki theatre. Aka Samantha Mala or Sambandana, the applying young is a higher again. No me lay, but me alut nutan at auction Samaga Sambandula, the Asian Malava, Karanganeva, Kisudu with the Makuba the Ranone. Uba me the Asian Mala to end me the Asian Akinaka Hanna, Singaling Hanna, Kunatan Demaling Hanna, Tamanta Tirnabasa, and it was in this Basanatan, Bishak or not to load the Agan, you are giving this Basava Tadagan again. Aka conference at Kissim Sambandiakna, but he was at the park at the young if you have a nominal, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If you have a game, you can see the same thing. If ये संपत पुत्र के लिए अंगे देनुं मैं अपने मात्रभूमि ये सिंगल माध्य दिमाग माध्य गुरुवर्यन टला बाद देने के तमाय अपने कॉन्फ्रेंस के तहत इक्का हाउल कर गया न कराने ये मुकद अपने टेन अत्तंग ये वाके रिसोर्स पर्सन्स ला गान न बहे अति विशाल मुद्लाक गेवन नहीं हुआ तो कॉन्फ्रेंस का हरा अप इतुमी है इतु आवर द दाहना में एक विशेष की तरह मुल्ला में संगत रहे सेस्ट्रे वड़े कले इतना हम पालपुर्दत तीन अकेले इतने मामा आशिता में इसके इस सल्ला में क्या मिति आशिता में संगत ला देना मुकद आपे प्रोजेक्ट लीड है ये क्या मारे आशिता में इस मांगे था ने मुल्ला में संगत ने गुरुवरी यंत्र देना लोगों में प्रश्न Api mewah desa na awam bakaran aku ata. Api atur mana pilot projecte aku dera basna ada palat ada perpasal guru varian perisak tu orang ena. Masa dekak tu nak mewah game desa na malawa ikulan de gina. Gina le stream education pelibadan tu ikulan dek projecte aku ti ena wad eking ikulan gunaan muka wardena kuna ada kene ka. Atta da balala tamai meka langka ema api yap tekaran de dienne kere. Ikan esa oba te me desa na malawa Tuling wardenya penuh kini ke api pratyaksha kerja na tiada. Eka matawada honda ya asetam ishara hamba api ter api silu dina ter ter ni dia te api mau bahasa me pahdi kerana ni pulang. Asetam is mam kah mete ubat tu mian keing wacan kipya kahan na mewar sani wargan isel na. Bo matmu suci kamar kodu matma. Hamba dina ter pahdi kerana kena sunder dawasa artawat dawasa. जीते विनाश करने दावसा करने के लाद दावसा ऐतर में हाल में सातुतोई मटे उब हम वोटे इन्ने लेबी में गए ना मुकदे मामा नीचे खालीं बस ना हीरे पड़ा तो न मुलीमों छुट्टा कमान किया नॉन मटे आधे पौड़ी इंटरनेट प्रश्न आते हैं ना ऐन्सा मटे कैमरा ऑन कराने बेरी प्रश्न आते हैं ना पौड़ने के लोग 
හැමෝන්ටම කියන්න කැමතියි ඊටමත්ම සතුටින් හැම කෙනෙකුටම ආරාධනා කරන්න කැමති මේ ස්ටීම් ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එක එක එකතු වෙන්න මොකද මේ නියම ව්‍යාපෘතිය පළවෙනි අතම් බස් ගාණේ පළාත තුල ක්‍රියාත්මක වුණු නියම ව්‍යාපෘතිය ට සම්බන්ධ වෙච්ච කෙනෙක් විදිහට නියම ව්‍යාපෘතිය පුරාවටම රැඳී සිටිය කෙනෙක් විදිහට ඒ වගේම අවසානයේ මුම්බායි නුවර පැවැත්වුණු ඒ කම්පරන්ස් එකට සහභාගී වෙච්ච කෙනෙක් විදිහට මම ඊටමත්ම සතුටින් කියන්න කැමති මගේ ජීවිතයට මම ගොඩාක් දේවල් ඉගෙන ගත්තා මගේ වෘත්තීය ජීවිතේ කමල්ගොඩ මහත්මයා කෝවාගේ අවධානමය එක කාලය ගොඩක් වෙලාවෙදි අපි ජීවිතේ දේවල් හොයලා ඉගෙන ගන්න කැමති ඉතින් ඒ වෙලාවෙදි මට හම්බෙච්ච හොඳම මං හිතන්නේ හොඳම වැඩසටහන තමයි ස්ටීම් කියලා කියන්නේ හොඳම වැඩසටහන අතරින් ඉතාමත් හොඳ වැඩසටහනක් තමයි ස්ටීම් කියලා කියන්නේ මොකද සුගන්ධි මේ ස්මිත් ප්‍රේෂාන් ඒ ගොල්ලන්ගේ ස්ටීම් ගැන කතා කරා විශේෂයෙන්ම මුල්ලමාවිය ගැන කතා කරනකොට මුල්ලමාවිය කියලා කියන්නේ දරුවෙක්ගේ ජීවිතේ පුද්ගලයෙක්ගේ ජීවිතේ අත්‍යවශ්‍යම ෆවුන්ඩේෂන් මේ ෆවුන්ඩේෂන් එක කොච්චර දුරට ශක්තිමත් වෙනවද ඒ තාක් දුරට දරුවන්ගේ ජීවිතය කියන ගොඩනැගිල්ල ශක්තිමත්ව හැදෙන්න යනවා මේක ශක්තිමත්ව හදන්න නම් අපි අනික් අධ්‍යාපනයට වඩා අපේ ද්විතීක අධ්‍යාපනයට වඩා ලොකු වෙනසක් තියෙනවා මේ මුල්ලමාවිය අධ්‍යාපනයේ ඉතින් මේ මුල්ලමාවිය අධ්‍යාපනය අපි දරුවන්ට ද්විතීක අධ්‍යාපනයට යන්න මේක හරි රසවත් තැනක් බවට පත් කරන්න ඕනේ ඒ වගේම තමයි සුන්දර මුල්ලමාවියක් ලැබුණොත් සුන්දර මුල්ලමාවිය අධ්‍යාපනයක් දරුවා තුළ ස්ථාපිත කරොත් දරුවා ද්විතීක අධ්‍යාපනයට යන්න ඊටමත්ම සතුටින් ඊටමත්ම උනන්දුවෙන් ඉතින් මම හිතනවා මේ ස්ටීම් এডියුකේෂන් හරහා මේ ස්ටීම් අධ්‍යාපනය හරහා මේ දරුවන් තුළ කුතුහලය සහයෝගීතාව ඒ වගේම සාර්ථක චින්තනය මෙන්න මේ වගේ අපි කියනවා ඉනෝවේටර්ස් නව උත්පාදකයෝ බිහි කරන්න හොඳම විදිය තමයි මේ ස්ටීම් අධ්‍යාපන ක්‍රමය කියලා කියන්නේ ඉතින් ඒ නිසා මේ අපි මුල හදන්න පටන් ගන්න තැන අපි හැමතිස්සම කියනවා රට හදන තැන තමයි පෙර පාසල කියලා කියන්නේ රට හදන තැන පෙර පාසල නම් මේ රට හදන තැන ඉන්න මේ පුංචි පැටවුන් ටික ලස්සනට හදලා අපි විතික අධ්‍යාපනයට යොමු කළොත් අපේ රට වෙනස් කරන්න පුළුවන් වේවි අපි කතා කරන සංවර්ධිත රට එහෙම නැත්නම් අපේ බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන අපේ හීනය හැබෑ කරගන්න යන්න පුළුවන් මාර්ගය මේ ස්ටීම් කියලා මට හොඳ විශ්වාසයක් තියෙනවා මොකද ස්ටීම් කිව්වම අපි කතා කරා අපි කතා කරන මේ ඉන්ටග්‍රේටඩ් සිස්ටම් එක තමයි මේක ඇතුලේ කතා කරන්නේ සයන්ස් ටෙක්නොලොජි ඉංජිනියරින් ආට්ස් මැතිමැටික්ස් මේ ඔක්කොම සංකලනය තමයි ස්ටීම් කියලා අපි දරුවන්ට කියලා දෙන්න යන්නේ එකම අපි කතා කරන අර එකම ඇක්ටිවිටි එකක් ඇතුලේ මේ ඔක්කොම හැම පැත්තක්ම සංවර්ධනය වෙන විදියක් ඉතින් මේක තියෙන සුවිශේෂීත්වය තමයි අපි දන්න සමෝදානිත අධ්‍යාපනයට වඩා මේකේ වෙනස මේක අපිට හරි රසට දරුවන්ට දෙන්න පුළුවන් හරි ආස විදිහට මේක දරුවන්ට දෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔවුන් හරි ලස්සනට ගනීවි ඔවුන් ලස්සනට ඔවුන්ගේ ජීවිත ගොඩනගා ගනයිවි ඉතාමත්ම සතුටින් පෙර පාසලට ඒවි ඔබේ පෙර පාසල ඔබට ඕනේ නම් තව දියුණු කරන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් ඔබට ඕනේ තව දරුවන් පෙර පාසල කරා ගෙන්වා ගන්නද එහෙනම් ඔබට කරන්න පුළුවන් හොඳම දේ තමයි මේ ස්ටීම් এডියුකේෂන් පන්ති කාමරයට ඔගලා ගෙනල්ලා බලන්න මේක පන්ති කාමරය තුළ දරුවන් එක්ක කරලා බලන්න ලොකු වෙනසක් තියෙනවා විශේෂයෙන්ම අපි අධීක්ෂණය කරන පෙර පාසල් දිහා බැලුවාම මේ ස්ටීම් এডියුකේෂන් අපේ පහුගිය ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එකට සම්බන්ධ වෙච්ච ගුරුවරුන් දිහා බැලුවාම ඊටමත් ලස්සනට මේ වැඩසටහන පෙර පාසල් තුළ ක්‍රියාත්මක කළා දරුවන් හා විනෝදයෙන් සතුටින් පෙර පාසල තුළ කටයුතු කරනවා ඒ වගේම වෙන්නට වඩා ළමයි උද්යෝගයෙන් ඉගෙන ගන්නවා ඉතින් මේක තමයි අපිට අවශ්‍ය නිරෝගී මනසකින් එහෙම නැත්නම් නිදහස් මනසකින් දරුවෝ ඉගෙන ගන්නවා දකින එක තමයි මම හිතන්නේ හැම අම්මා කෙනෙක්ගෙම හැම තාත්තා කෙනෙක්ගෙම බලාපොරොත්තුව ඉතින් ඔබේ දරුවා ඔබේ ඔබේ තුලට එන දරුවා ඉදිරි අනාගතේ සුන්දර තැනක ඉන්නවා දකින එක තමයි ගුරුවරියෙක්ගේ බලාපොරොත්තුව තමාව පහු කරගෙන යනවා බලලා සතුටු වෙන එකම කණ්ඩායම ගුරුවරයා ඉතින් ඔබට ඔබ පහු කරගෙන යන දරුවෙක් හදන්න ඉතාමත් සුන්දර විදිය ඔබට අද හම්බෙලා තියෙනවා
ඉතින් විශේෂයෙන්ම ස්ට්‍රීම් අධ්‍යාපන ක්‍රමය මේ හඳුන්වා දීමේ වැඩසටහනේදී ඔබ සියලු දෙනෙකුටම ආරාධනා කරනවා මේ සමග එකතු වෙන්න ඒ වගේම අපි කලින් කතා කරා මේ වැඩසටහන තුල මේ ස්ට්‍රීම් අධ්‍යාපනයේ විතරක් නෙමෙයි අපි ලෝකෙට විවුර්ත වෙනකොට අපිට අත්‍යවශ්‍ය දෙයක් තමයි අපිට කමියුනිකේෂන් මේ අපිට සන්නිවේදනය කරන්න තියෙන ලොකුම බැරිය එක තමයි අපිට භාෂාව ඉතින් මේ භාෂාව අපිට කොහොමද හදා ගන්නේ ඊටමත් ඉක්මනින් කෙටි කාලීන පාඨමාලාවක් හරහා අපි කොහොමද ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාව හදා ගන්නේ කියලා මේ වැඩසටහනේදී කතා කරනවා මේ ෂෝට් ටර්ම් ඉංග්‍රීසි ස්පෝකන් වැඩසටහනේදී ඉතින් ඒ නිසා මේ දෙක සමග මේ දිත්වේ සමග මේ එකතු වෙලා ඔබේ වෘත්තීය ජීවිතය සාර්ථක කරගන්නටත් ඔබේ ගමන ඉදිරියටත් ඉහළටත් යන්නටත් මේ පුංචි දරුවන්ගේ ජීවිතේ සුවපත් කරන්නටත් අපේ රට සංවර්ධිත රටක් කරාගෙන යන්න ඔබ සියලු දෙනාටම මේ වැඩසටහන ඉවහල් වේවි අපි දකින හීන එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි දකින සුන්දර රට අපිට හිමි වෙන්න මේ වැඩසටහන පිටුවාලක් වේවි කියලා මම විශ්වාස කරනවා ඔබ හැම දිනකටම ආරාධනා කරනවා කරනවා අපි එක්ක අත්වැල් බැඳගන්න මේ වැඩසටහනේ ඉදිරියට යන්න ඒ වගේම තමයි අපේ රටේ සාර්ථකත්වය දියුණුව කරා යන ගමනට ඔබ නියමුවන් බවට පත් වෙන්න මේ වැඩසටහන එක්ක එකතු වෙන්න කියලා කර ඉල්ලීමත් සමග මම නිහඬ වෙනවා ඔබ සියලු දෙනාටම සුබ රාත්‍රියක් අර්ථවත් අනාගතයක් වේවා කියලා ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරනවා බොහොමත්ම ස්තුතියි තැන්කියු වෙරි මච් බොමිත් ස්තුතියි අස්තමිස් මම හිතන්නේ මේ වැඩසටහන ඔබ දැන් අරඹනවන මේ වැඩසටහන තුලින් අදින් පටන් ගන්න දේශන අදින් පසුව පටන් ගන්න දේශවන මාලාව තුල ඔබ යම්කිසි දැනුම අංශ මාත්‍රයක හරි දැනුමක් ලබා ගන්නවන ඔබේ වෘත්ති ජීවිතය තුළ එක අල්ප මාත්‍රයක හරි සංවර්ධනයක් සිද්ධ වෙනවන එහි පින සියල්ලම අපි අසිතමිස්ට අනුමෝදනා කරා කියලා දිශාන්වත් සුගන්ධ මිස්සත් මම හිතන අපි තරහ වෙන්නේ නැහැ මොකද ඇය තමයි මෙහි උල්පත ඒක නිසා මම අසිතමිස්ට කිව්වේ අසිතමිස් මේ වැඩසටහන බලන මේ වැඩසටහන අහන අපේ ශ්‍රී ලාංකීය ගුරුවරිය විශාල පිරිසක් ඉන්නවා ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ හදවතට දැනෙන්න අපි ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ හදවතටම අපේ මව් භාෂයෙන්ම කතා කරමු කියලා ඇයි වොන්ට තෑන්ක්ස් මිස් අසිතමිස් බිකොස් යු ආර් ද අවර් ස්ට්‍රෙන්ත් දැන් වි වොන්ට තෑන්ක්ස් විත් යු බිකොස් ඉෆ් ටීචර්ස් ටේක් සම්තින් ෆ්‍රොම් දිස් ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් වි වොන්ට තෑන්ක්ස් ෆෝ යු then uh, so gonna miss then you can wind up with both of you can uh, continue and wind up the session thank you very much thank you so much so and thank you uh, ms asita samarapali uh, who is the project director of this uh, project so thank you so much ma'am for uh, sharing your thoughts with us you have been a pillar to this project so as you always say your wishes and your support for this project will be always there we are grateful for that thank you so much ma'am and also i'm i'm pretty sure that we have done uh, almost we have explained everything on this project and you are clear on that so it's time to wind up so you are the creators of next the generation the society so take something good from us implement it in your preschools too and create a better generation for future thank you and good night to you all god bless you all